Hey guys, welcome back to YouTuber Headlines. My name's Oakley, your go-to source for YouTube mom news, updates, and drama. Check me out on Instagram at YouTuber Headlines. I post new content over there daily. Today, Bits of Brie, aka Brianna K, posted an emotional video on YouTube. And Till Vacuum Do Us Part had a lot to say about that. So we're gonna go through her Instagram stories. I'm going to respond to it. And then we're gonna talk about Brianna K's video. Let's jump straight into this video. You guys know I don't like long intros. I'm a get to the point type of woman. So let's get to the point. Um, I watched your video today and I really don't watch a lot of YouTube videos, especially like when I see cleaning because I don't want to watch it and um, have to try to edit like them or see something. I just feel like I'm more creative if I'm just like doing my own thing. But I totally agree with this. As a creator, you are more creative if you're not watching other people do the same thing you're about to do. Now, if you don't wanna be creative and you just wanna copy, then watching other YouTube videos <laughs> before you make your video is the thing to do. Um, we talk outside of YouTube and um, I know it's been a rough year for her. It's been a rough year for everybody, so I'm not discounting that, but um, she's very raw and real in this video. I'm gonna link it for you up here. I encourage you, if you have some free time, put it on, listen to it. There's a lot of struggles going on behind the scenes and you guys kind of know them. You guys know these like drama channels that are going on and she kind of talks deeper into it. But one of the main things that's changed here on this platform is all these like hate drama um, channels, like cancel the mom channels type thing. I want to stop her there because I definitely have to respond to that. But I want to let you guys know that I don't prepare for these videos. I don't take notes. I don't do anything. I listen to her clip and then respond because that's the way I like to do it. Ashley just said hate drama channels that are trying to cancel the mom community. I don't try to cancel YouTube moms or the YouTube mom community. Never have, never will. YouTube moms want to talk about commentary channels talking crap, but she's literally talking crap about commentary channels. She just called us hate channels trying to cancel the mom community. She's lumping us all into one basket and saying, this is what commentary drama channels do. And I don't think you can do that because I am not like any other commentary channel on this platform. I'm just not. I have my own style. I do my own thing. I say what I want to say. No one says what I say because they say what they want to say, how they want to say it. We're all very different. What I think she should be doing right now is calling out names, name dropping. If you want to talk the talk, drop some names and say who you're talking about. That's what commentary channels do. We will just straight up call you out on something. If you do something, we will drop your name. She's not doing that. She's lumping us all into one big basket and calling us all hate channels. And you just can't do that. I would never lump all YouTube moms into a basket and say all YouTube moms are blank. You can't do that. That's not fair. And she just kind of points out like we are just women trying to take care of our families like anybody else. Um, I don't know where all the hate came from, the jealousy, the hurt, the pain. I know there's a lot going on um, the last couple years, but. Her statement right there saying, I don't know where all the hate, jealousy, and hurt, and pain came from is such an ignorant statement. Ashley, you are lacking knowledge and awareness of what's going on online. And it's not just Ashley. That is a typical YouTube mom comeback. You must be a hater. You must be jealous. You must be hurting. You must be in pain. Just because someone doesn't kiss your butt, doesn't agree with you, voices their opinion, doesn't mean they're jealous of you or hurting. Sometimes I think YouTubers feel like they're the only ones that should have a voice on this platform, and that's not true. Viewers should have a voice, and we should be able to express our thoughts and opinions too. Now, I'm not saying threats and harassing people. That's not what I'm saying. But why can't we agree to disagree on things? Why can't someone state their opinion? And you don't have to agree with it, but you also don't have to attack them and call them a hater and say they're jealous of you. I know she mentioned in that video, it sounds like she's taking January off. So just from an influencer, that means like, when you're not working, when you don't show up, you don't make money. So it's like a hair beautician, somebody, a lot of you ladies do stuff like that. If you're not there, you're not making money. So That's not true, Ashley. Why are you saying that? You're a YouTuber and an influencer. You know how this works. She doesn't have to show up to make money. That's one of the biggest pros about being a social media 
figure, an influencer, and YouTuber, you have passive income. She has hundreds of monetized videos on YouTube that people can watch and will continue to watch through January, and she will still make money. All of her affiliate links are still active. Viewers can click on any of those. You can find those links in her description box or over on Instagram. Everybody knows where they are. So she will still make money, Ashley. <laughs> it's not true. If a YouTuber takes time off, they are still making money. They have passive income. She'll be missing out on any sponsorship deals because she won't be active on social media. But in January, sponsorships slow down tremendously. She's taking off the slowest month of the year. Plus, your AdSense revenue goes down tremendously in January. So to me, it makes sense if YouTubers and influencers take some time off in January. My RPM has gone down over $3. That's how much less we're getting paid in January versus December. That's a huge difference. So I encourage you just to like go watch her videos, watch those ads for her and still support her if you love her. And just from my personal experience from this year, I felt very muted. I felt um, it was a hard year for me and um, I just felt very muted and silenced. If you're feeling muted, you're doing that to yourself. No one can make you feel any type of way except for you. You are in control of your feelings and emotions. No one else is. I know this is easier said than done, but if you're allowing outside noise to affect you, you gotta work on that. I do realize that's not an easy task and it's definitely not something that happens overnight. I feel like back on my first couple years of my YouTube journey, I was very open. I shared a lot. We did a lot of like car chats that you guys loved. And then these like hate channels came out and it became so hard because they twist your words to make everything seem bad. Here we go. Call in commentary channel hate channels. Ashley, you must be jealous. You must be in pain or hurt. I'm just joking, but I'm trying to use her language back on her. I want her to see how that sounds. They pull out lies. These are people that have never met us. And people are believing what they say, which is so hard for me to understand that somebody that's never met me, instead of just like coming to me and asking me or whatever, but I- So I'm only speaking for myself in this video. I can't speak for all commentary channels on this platform. I would never try to do that. And that's not what I'm trying to do here. But she's saying that we twist their words and make them sound like the worst thing possible. I, I don't feel like I do that. I feel like what I do is read or listen to whatever they put online and give my thoughts and opinions on that, just like any viewer would. It's called perception, and we all have different perceptions. I got this message from a viewer. Some people just cannot take constructive criticism or unexpected feedback. So they go on the defense and they call others trolls, haters, etc. These people need constant affirmations, and it's sad. How are they ever going to have healthy personal growth? if they can't handle a little feedback. I'm not the only commentary channel who's covered Ashley on YouTube. Others have. And as far as not coming to her and asking questions, I have. I actually contacted Ashley last year because I had a few questions about her Louis Vuitton and $1,000 giveaway. You guys remember that giveaway? Viewers started sending me DMs saying, something's up with this giveaway. It doesn't sound right. I don't even remember the specifics. So I did reach out to Ashley. I actually think um, Ashley and Chase are very trustworthy people. I would never think that they're going to scam anyone. I don't get scam vibes from them at all. And if I ever do get those vibes from people, I will let you guys know, but I don't get those vibes from Ashley and Chase. There are a lot of things, but I don't think they would scam a viewer in a giveaway. My point is, I squashed that rumor when it comes to that rumor being spread on my platform. If I ever saw it, I set the record straight. When I say I set the record straight, what I mean by that is I shared Ashley's response and then I gave my opinion on that. And I believe Ashley's response. I don't think that giveaway was a scam. I will say I felt very, very muted in 2021 and I will not do that this year. I'm going to speak my truth. I'm going to shine my light bright. And if I feel like something needs to be said, I'm going to say. And you should. I don't know why you would ever hold back. I really don't. I don't think anyone should mute themselves online. There's a but to this. They're business owners. This is their income. This is their job. This is everything they have, right? 
for a lot of YouTubers, social media is everything they have. This is how they support their family. So when you pop online and you're sitting on a toilet and you're calling people names and you're saying all these things, you're representing your brand. So although I don't think you should mute yourself, I do think you should be mindful of what you post because you are representing your brand and you're representing all the brands that you work for. And if you want to continue to work as an influencer and YouTuber, I feel like you just have to be mindful of what you post, but not mute yourself. So if you're muting yourself, you're doing that to yourself. No one can mute your voice except for you. we will say my biggest struggle was feeling that of being like muted and I told Chase like a few days ago when we were talking about our goals for this year I was like I just don't want to be that person I want to be back who I was I want to be unapologetically me yeah all that sounds good go for that that's what viewers want because we can pick up on fakeness <laughs> we can and so if you like me stay here if you don't if I annoy you if I drive you crazy that is okay. Like unfollow me and find somebody that inspires you. Find some. She's preaching the same thing here that every YouTube mom preaches. Unfollow me if you don't like my content, all of that stuff. I will say that viewers don't need to hear that. We know that. We're adults. We know where the subscribe button is. We know where the unfollow button is. If we want to do that, we will. You guys don't have to tell us. And I think some of you guys may need to hear it um, just so you can see from our side, you know, what it feels like and what's been going on behind the scenes because we don't share all that. Like when I'm just doing a cleaning video or an itch to switch, I don't want to come in here and just like talk all negative. I'm just trying to be a positive place. I'm trying to give you as many tips in the year that I can to help you on whatever your budget is. Oh, are you talking about those tips that you bragged about not charging us for? <laughs> I mean, come on. Most of her tips can be found on Google, Pinterest, TikTok, on social media. And we're just moms like trying to take care of our kids and our family. So this is another thing that they've started saying lately. We're just moms trying to take care of our family. Okay, well, isn't that what everybody's doing? Every dad that goes to work every day is just a dad trying to take care of their family. Every mom who goes to an office job every day is just trying to take care of their family. I don't get their point in saying that. Are, is that some type of excuse they're using? Like, what is the point to that? Everybody in the world is a mom, dad, sister, brother, grandparent, just trying to take care of their family. You're no different than anyone else. Ashley mentioned as part of her New Year's resolutions, she wants to unapologetically be herself. She wants to speak up when she feels like she needs to speak up, which I think are all great things that she should do and viewers should do. Why can you speak up when you feel like you need to, but viewers can't? I'm not referring to harassing or threats or anything like that. I feel like I have to say that every time because some people come back and say, oh, what about the harassment and the threats? Well, no, no one should tolerate that online. I'm talking about opinions. I'm talking about having conversations. I'm talking about people not agreeing with you. It's not healthy to live in an echo chamber, to create an echo chamber, and to never see outside of those walls. I think this is a good place to end this video. I'm almost at 14 minutes, so I didn't have time to include my reaction to Bree's video, but that is coming soon. Thank you so much for watching. If there's something you would like to share, leave a comment down below. I'll see you next time.